Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail again, and I have yet another kit to show you. This one is my winter fun kit, um, and I'm actually going to, when I get this album done, my son is taking his first snowboarding lesson today. Um, my husband and son just left to go up to the mountains, um, oh, about half an hour ago, so I want to get this one done pretty soon so I can put pictures of him. My, my husband is under strict instructions to take plenty of pictures of him. Um, he got this as one of his Christmas presents um, to learn to snowboard, so I hope he has a good time. Anyway, I'm digressing. I tend to do that a lot. Anyway, sorry about that, um, but I think this one would be a fun one to put um, any kind of winter um, fun for those of you who live in the northern climates. Those of you who live in the Midwest right now where it's like outrageously winterful, you probably... Um, not necessarily wanting to celebrate it at the moment, but, um, so my hearts go out to all of you in those nasty parts of the country right now. So anyway, here's the papers. These are part of the uh, Bow Bunny collection, which I can't recall the name of, but they are from Bow Bunny. Um, and they're just, oh, they're yummy. They're sparkly. They're shiny. They're just really pretty. Look at the snowflake. Here's the one that's got, um, Winter Night is the song. It looks like that's on there. I was trying to read what it said. Uh, and it's got these blues and aquas and purples. I just love these colors and this this kind of deep burgundy red with the, um, it's that iridescent glittery stuff. It's oh, just yummy, yummy, yummy. And it's got these little swirls. There's this one with these gorgeous snow, snowflakes on them. This wonderful stripe. Some more of the music. There's that one, and then the snow. I love this snow one. And then this is, um, actually, I'm not sure who this one is. Uh, Penny Lane, I think. Um, but I wanted to add some journaling type stripes in it, and it went with it really well. And then we've got a dark, plummy violet. But these are all basil cardstocks. They vary in terms of their textures, because I like to vary the textures. Anyway, there's that one. There's that, that cranberry. Um, there's a nice kind of tan and a shiny um, white, it was it, pearlized white, and then there is an aqua, and there should be one more aqua, but it doesn't seem to be here, so anyway, it'll have it in there. Um, you're also going to get five chipboard shapes that I have, have die cut for you. Th this is the same shape that I used on the Joy F Family trade mini that I made. Um, and then it's got a piece of um, the same shape, piece of acrylic. This has got the blue plastic film on it, and I don't want to take that off because it helps to protect it. But before you start decorating, you can pull that off. And then you can use the um, rock candy um, crackle paint on the edges. It makes it look like it's frosty. So, um, but there's those shapes. And these are a Sizzix die for those of you who ask. This is a Sizzix, Sizzix die, I can't say Sizzix, that I have, um, surgically enhanced. So, anyway, you're also going to get a, um, this is metallic-sized plastic, um, but without the, all the glitter, it's just shiny in the aqua, um, a snowflake. You're then going to get also three chipboard snowflakes that you can paint and glimmerize and make all fancy doodle as you want to. Then you're also going to get these acetate die cuts that are sparkly and shiny and everybody's going to get a large, two mediums and a small so everybody will get four of these very slightly from kit to kit but they're all just yummy snowflakes all in that um, yummy color combination. You're going to get some little tags. You're going to get two of the acrylic. Again, it's got the blue plastic film. They are clear acrylic as well as two just little mini white tags. Um, and you can stamp. You can also stamp on the acrylic too if you use stays on um, ink. You're going to get, as speaking of stamps, you're going to get a winter set that has winter hot cocoa and marshmallows, a snowflake all bundled up, and a little journaling spot so that you can stamp. Um, in terms of the flowers, I went for the wintry colors, but I could not resist these cranberries. So you have five of these cranberry flowers, and then some aqua and white uh, paper prima flowers. 
So I between not as many flowers as I normally do because you have so many snowflakes. Um, also in here, we've got some felt snowflakes in blue and white. We've got some of the the ornament like ones. One is um, got iridescent sparkles and one's just uh, more frosted, sparkly looking. So there's two of those. There's a bunch of the snowflake um, uh, brads, <laughs> and then some other brads in the color coordinate with it. Some clear little dew drops, some buttons, some paper clips, and some blue and clear and purple bling, and then also some white snowbird feathers. So, you know, those snowbirds, those are rare and hard to find. So, you know, we've got some snowbird of their feathers. No birds were injured in, in getting those snow feathers. You know, they just, they drop them on the snow. They kind of, and, and they like to eat um, ice worms. So, oh, I'm feeding you such a line. It's, I'm such an Alaska girl. <laughs> anyway, I had, I had a, a, somebody visiting one time when I was still living up in Alaska and we took them up on a glacier and it was so hysterical. We really had them going about the ice worm stuff. Anyway, um, here's the fibers because you know me, I love to do fibers. There's some purples and plums and turqu aqua, turquoise, some neutral, some yummy, yummy um, cream color, some more blue, some flashy, sparkly stuff. So I love doing the fibers. It's one thing you'll always find in my kits. Am I running out of time? How am I doing time? Okay, ribbon, satin, white, satin, cream, skinny, the iridescent, sparkly, white, and this yummy kind of lacy looking um, aqua, the cranberry. That little pop of cranberry just really brightens this whole kit up. This is a pale lilac, satin and organza, and then another satin and organza, and kind of that antique gold look. So there's the ribbons, and you have 12 to 18 inches on those, and 24 inches of all of the, the um, fibers. Gosh, my brain does not want to work today. It's... Just one of those kind of days, I guess. So anyway, this is the winter fun kit. You can go to my Etsy shop, www.followthepapertrail.etsy.com to check out more information about it. Um, I will be doing a sample of this, but it might take a while. I'm trying to get samples made of each of them, either before or after. I don't like doing too much before because I don't want... I want you to be inspired by the kits and not necessarily feel like you have to follow what I, I've got going on. So even if I do have it before, I might not always show it. This one is about, oh, probably about half done. So anyway, um, go to my Etsy store if this is something you're interested in. And have fun making a winter album of maybe the kids playing in the snow or, for that matter, yourself playing in the snow. So we will talk to you soon, and thanks a bunch.